Well, looks like I, I was right after all then. Somehow, deep inside, I knew. And well, we see a P250 on Toulouse Ray, but does not throw it over to one of his mates. As we are now seeing a possible fast A push from M. Cool Eastballs, usually putting in a bit of mid pressure as well. But will it be just that? It's Chaos trying to get the first wreck with the P2K, but Teddy can just walk up. Is now slowly being spotted, possibly, but he can get the angle. It's Malik dying, and it's the first round uh, frag already for Amcon in his first round. Bale's holding the angle at forklift, tries to get a catch up, but he does a 360. The US Rafo slightly tagged, but the bomb makes his way towards his side. Still, the pressure from highway not being dealt with. But Luis Rafo dies to chaos, but Teddy with a second, still a big nuisance. But he will fall. Excel with a follow up, a three on two, and a big flank coming in from Hertz. Yep, Bears was holding a oh. position very well, but look at that. Zelos grabs Hurts there. It's a 3v1. He does have a defuse kit, but I don't think that's going to help much with killing other people. Yeah, he has no armor as well. Already gets tagged up, and Zelos with the triple kill makes it 1-0 for Emcon Esports. And so far, they're making it work once again, and this is on the map pick of their opponent. Something which should be a bit harder. They didn't pick this side. No. But now it's only just to piss around. They have to make it work. After round three, we'll see if they're still as strong as they are now. I mean, it, it was the pistol round, so also a pretty important round when you look at the grand scale of things. But we'll see if MCON pulls it through and keeps yeah. it up. And one thing we have to mention, uh, this weekend there was actually a patch coming out from Valve which made the loss bonus of yes. the pistol round already bigger. You start the pistol round with a theoretical round loss and now we'll see Teddy moving up with the AK not being hit that much despite being open for a lot of shots but he and Xelos will get a frag and that makes it already a 5 on 3 they can plant the bomb easily and Teddy now in danger but he will Ooh. also fall it is a 4 on 2 Malik gets the frag gets the weapon and will try to save it Yep, had to reload there. Now Lewis here using that MP5. I still, I'm still not used to that gun, I have to say. But he manages to work it well. Rylax got the kill on Hertz, and Lewis Revo tops it off with the kill on Malik. Great stuff so far, but now we see the first buy round from Salty Skins due to that updated loss bonus. Yes. And let's see if it will result into a round straight away. They need to get those frags. They don't have the AWP, but they do have a, well, sensible chunk of utility. Yep, um, utility can mean a lot. If you can hold off a spot for longer with an extra smoke or just throw that molly in there, it can really give you an edge. So not to be underestimated. No, it's Emcon Esports again, grouping up towards the A side. Yep, and uh, it looks like Berker was actually oh, pushing flashback through. in towards the A main. Berkey yep. gets one frag, but gets straight out straight away. Teddy can't get a second, but catch up is there. That means the A side is also there so after they get the frag onto Chaos. Salty skins with a good idea, but the smoke was just a bit too deep as Malik tries to 1v1, will get the frag, and it was sloppy from both sides. Yep, but he has been hit oh, a wait, little bit. But Lewis Revo gets hurt there. The bomb hasn't gone down yet, but it looks like it is about to. We've still got Malik surviving. So is he going to pull this off? A double kill. It's doable. But he does not have a defuse kit either, if I'm not mistaken. So that makes things a little bit more difficult. Now, he drops on top of Rylax here. Just takes his time to look at him, but Rylax oh. has a double kill. Smooth move around, and he gets to defuse with plenty of time left. He took his time. Right, he almost just took its toll, but it seemed to work in the end. It is now. The was due to one scoreline, Salty Skins. That's got him there first, but it was very, very sloppy. Yeah, he was just sitting on top there and actually took a look at Rylax, like, oh, hello, you were there as well. And then he decided, all right, I'm going to get him now before Rylax managed to counter it. And I think if he hadn't gotten that kill, Rylax, on Rylax actually there. tacked him up. Yeah, there he did. There was only three HP left on Malak, and luckily he did have the read on to lose Revo. Really? Also, due to the Shadow playing its part, and now we see a 2 2 1 is MCON Esports buying back in it. And will they win it? Let's see if they will. First win for Salty Skin, so also good on their side. Three rounds so far, and the fourth to decide. Now, interesting boost spot here from Lewis. And is it going to work out for him? Because there aren't a lot of people on mid at the moment. We've only got Hertz there at the start of it, or at the top of it, and he gets oh. forced up by the Molly. Gales with the first ragged, and Malik actually playing in defense as well, and they get a second into it. Damage dealt, but not enough to get the frag as is now Teddy moving up but looking the wrong way. 
And that means it's already a five to two. Amcon Esports is now struggling and will lose their complete economy in this round. And that means next round they'll go on an eco and hope to get back into it. But they'll lose their lead. Might lose it entirely towards the Salty Skins who can get a third after the next one. Yep. But that's only for time to tell. Yeah, Salty Skins are holding the bomb sites very well this time around. Now Ketchup, actually not Ketchup, my apologies, Rylax gets the good kill there and it seems like this may secure them the bomb site. If Ketchup... Yeah, but Chaos is still in check as waiting around, almost get Ketchup, but it's Rylax with the frag onto him. Makes it into a 3 on 2 but in an spotting heaven. Is Malik playing there as now Bales is moving across to have the big flank. They still have one smoke to delay. Rylax with the off angle, still with quite some health points. And now also not oh. with the kill onto Bales. How did he miss that one? But Ketchup now with a frag onto Berkey. One HP onto Bales, but it's not needed to be used. This is Malik with the last frag, and it's now 2 to 2. Salty Skins bring it back, but only just. Unbelievable. Bales only had one HP left there. And he did actually pull it off. I, I gotta say, Rylax did do some good kills there. Right? That, that double kill of his was nice, but still, it wasn't good enough to get it for him. 2v2. So, so is it going to work out? Yeah, now we see an eco coming in from Emcon Esports. Some deagles, some CZs. And of course, a Tech 9 onto Ketchup, who's very happy with the little more balancey stuff. Yep. But a lot of people still prefer the CZ overall. The Tech 9 out of favor for a long time right now. But can it make a comeback in the hands of Ketchup? Who's already gotten a few frags on Trey with it. But with no mid pressure at all, Emcon just teams through. And will they go towards the A side? I, I do wonder, like you say, is that Tech 9 going to make a comeback? Ooh, but Lewis Raven now with the tag onto Malik, who was a bit too eager to grab a nade. Now tagged up to 58 HP, and it slows down slightly. They know they've lost mid control, they know they can't retake it, but now they are scared for a possible split push. Yep, some slight damage dealt to Salty Skins there, but as we can see, not all is lost just yet. I do wonder if something's going to change here. The bomb is still towards the start of T-Spawn, if I'm not mistaken. Alex. Oh, but Bayos, his position in the sunroom, holding the angle, gets a tag of Luxellos, but Teddy will not grab the frag. It is a 4 or 3 Malek holding steady with Hurts, and they can finish it off right here. Don't overstep your boundaries, throws the smoke to actually block off Hurts, but have him rotate with him if need be. It's now Malek tagged by a Deagle, but still alive and yep, fighting. Luke. Lewis having denied that great position Bears had there, to be honest. And Berkey here just gets the easy frags, but does mess up his two and third kills. But that makes it incredibly easy as Berkey just finishes them off. The kill, that first, second kill, still going to Bears actually because he dealt so much damage, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was a push fest right there from Salty Skins, and eventually it pushed them over the edge to win another round, yep. get that lead, and make it into a three on two scoreline. Semkon Esports now back again. With those AKs, with some utility, but maybe even with a round. Yeah, I have to say, it looks like this is a lot more evenly matched compared to Strain. Oh. And Malik grabs the kill on Xelos. 4v5. How's it going to hold out? Also, having their boost spot mollied off there does not give them the opportunity to try and grab mid. And it slows down. Is Emcon Esports again up against it? And I don't think they're really used to this one. They were in the lead pretty much all the time on train. Yeah. Knew how to play it out, but now they're struggling. Now they're fighting for their lives. But they know when it gets to dust two, they still have a fighting chance. Yep, and that is what maybe they are holding out for. It sort of depends. Now, Bayas grabs the position here, but he's made himself known. Tries to get Lewis there, but keeps messing up his shot. His teammate, however, Kios, comes in and gets him for him. Now, Kios grabs the double kill there, takes Rylax for himself as well. In the meantime, Hertz holding down at that B-bomb site very well. And grabs a double kill himself. Gets Salty Teddy. Skins now gets Two. the fourth round. Emcon East was really playing split, and they did have a Molotov on catch-up to maybe molly out the guy on the boost. But unfortunately, he was already pushing towards the B-side, not really making it work. Yeah. Emcon Esports, so split, not taking mid control first, and that's something you need before you do a B split. And they did not really pay attention in high school before that one. And now no. we see the lead extending for Salty Skins. And again, an eco for Emcon, it seems to go towards the A side. It will be a fast one, but will it work out in the end? It seems like Lucas Revo is standing by steady 
and ready yep. to go with his team out of Squeaky. Yeah, it looks like it was River is going to make some noise while they push out from Squeaky there, but Beaz denies it, gets the double kill, while Berkey helps out and grabs Teddy as well. Oh. But Beaz there goes for a triple, and only Xelos, which is easy, and gets taken out by Kiel's. 5-2. to two. It's Demanding lead right now for Salty Skins, and they're also building a colony, something which is very important. And should Absolutely. Need, should not be underestimated. They don't fancy the AWP so far, but now we see one on Emcon Esports side. I think it's Louis Revo again with that lovely green weapon. Unless if he has a skin. <laughs> oh, it's ketchup actually. Silly uh, man. Oh, slight mistake. But yeah, it is also unmistakably important to see and build up a bit of a, a bit of a reserve there. But ketchup actually grabs Berkey. Are oh, things going to turn around now? Malik countering the boost spot. Silos pops out there, doesn't seem to notice Malik immediately, and even it out to a 4v4. Well, now we see Beas also pushing through Squeaky. Lose Ray for probably a bit tilted by that one. And that makes the lead go in favor of Salty Skins in this round, but can Ketchup get the frag right here? Only time will tell as Beas is now trying to flash himself out, or is it the smoke? I don't know, it's taking time. Ketchup does not have the angle, he's trying to find it, but he's just a tad too late. And that means it is now still a 4 on 3 situation. Advantage for Salty Skins, but for how long? Teddy, nice attempt at wall bang. Bears and Malik grab Ketchup and Teddy out of the equation there. It leaves only Rylax. He can get his hands on the bomb, and maybe if he plays it well, he can turn around. But I have to say, I'm not really expecting anything out of this. Well, nope, and Hurt says, nope, not even giving you the chance, and grabs Rylax. That means it's already 62. Salty Skins is now running away with it. But Emcon also lacking a bit of economy. One to buy up, it seems, if you look at Teddy. But the rest of the team not really that eager. And he's slowing it down. Yep. Time is ticking. The round is starting. We see at least two AKs. The rest is not really that fun. But as Luis Rave and Ketchup are now also buying up, it seems to be a force buy but not really happily shared by all of them. Nope, it's uh, well, not looking good for MCOD in general, you know, 6-2. to two. Salty Skins are building up the advantage this time around. And are they going to hold it? I wonder. And well, we see the 10 case popping up on Salty Skins. Hurts already on $13,000. And you can't really stop that for the coming few rounds. And that's sad for MCOD Esports. They will try, they will fight. But so far they're struggling. The double AK now for their friends Xelos and Teddy. And also Luis Revo popping up one. But they can't make it work just yet. It's Rice now with the first rack onto Hertz. And it is unfortunately Luis Revo dying. They now have again three AKs. It's Rice picked one up. But Teddy now with the frag on towards the A side. It is a four on three. And Emcon is somehow making it work again in a sort of force by sort of eco. And how do they do it time and time again? It looks like those stolen guns are really working out for them quite well, but Rylax with the Deagle is not to be underestimated. He works that thing very well, I, I, I have to say. Well, now the Execute seems to be going towards the A side, or was it a fake? It seemed to be one as we see Ketchup choking towards Berkey, getting a sick flick on his head, and that means it's again a three on three. Two players low on the side of Emcon Esports. Those both got a frag already, but they need to get more if they want to get this round. It's Celos, the only man with full HP, but the rest of his team is already falling. It's a 1v3 for him. He gets one. But with 40 seconds left on the clock, he has to move towards the side. He has some utility, and he has to fight. Time is now running out. Chaos is not hunting just yet. We'll now do it when Celos has to commit for the plant, and he will get it down. Yeah. But it will still die. Emcon Esports gets the funds to buy up next round. But we'll still lose another. 7-2 to two is now your scoreline. Salty Skins is still extending the lead ever so slightly. Yeah, that, that plan did help a little bit there for the economy. But I have to say, he was just in a tough position. Not able to hold it out there. 2v1, still having to plan. And the timer running down. I don't blame him for losing that round there. Uh, it looks like we've got a tactical timeout now. So let's Ooh. see if that's going to change things up. Trying to play it smart for a yes. little change. But you still see the money on Salty Skins. They're just running through this like mad. And Beas again, the man you already hyped last time around. Yep. Onto 10 frags. Stepping it up once again. Carrying his team. But he has to be consistent because that's something we did not see last map around. They started off very badly. 
and came back a little bit, but in the end, they were too weak to get it. Yeah, the question is, you know, is MCON going to come back here and turn it around completely, or are we going to be forced to, well, or are they going to be forced to just take a loss if Salty Skins keeps up the advantage, builds up those rounds, and ends up taking this map for themselves? Yeah, I think MCON is really doing what Salty Skins did wrong last time around. Yeah. Uh, where they just play a lot solo. They don't run in as a unit, or when they do, they don't have the proper utility to do so. Yeah, and that just comes to haunt them every time. Yeah, you're missing that communication there. Lovely close-up on the terrorist's face there, Ooh. by the way. Mm, lovely. Our cameramen are ready to do everything which is needed as we now see a good scoreline still in favor of Salty Skins. And the match is resuming. A yep. buy for Emcon, aided by that bomb plant last time around. But will it come through this time? They seem to go for a default setup again. And that means they'll not have pressure everywhere to go straight in. Yep, so I do wonder if the tactical timeout is going to work out for them, if they're going to use it. Like you say, they do have guns in their hands, five AKs, it can work, but on Salty Skins there is an AWP in the hands of Kiosk, and they still have so many funds to work with. Now, Berkey actually holding Squeaky there as Lewis tries to push through. Again, stop the Burke as he's now trying to be boosted up. It is dangerous as the smoke is dissipating soon. But still, they make it work, and this is something Emco might not expect. As they had just a little scuffle at the squeaky door. Excels now with the frag onto Bayas. It's Berkey spraying, missing, but eventually getting the frag. Losing his life in the process, though, making it a real two. And Emco can get the bomb down now nice and easily. But are still up against a ton of utility. Yeah. Bomb now planted. It's very late once again, and Ketchup gets tagged up by the Molotov. It's still a free on two. Emcon is now very scared, and Riley's already being fragged by Hertz. It is a two on two. They're moving in. They're moving in fast. Yep, and is Hertz going to make it here? I have to say, Kiels does grab Ketchup in the meantime as well. Oof, it's not looking very good here. 2v1, and Hertz tries to defuse, but just grabs Lewis there, and that gets him an easy defuse, and another win for Salty Skins. Yeah, I think Emcon did not really think through that. Uh, off the plan. You had yeah. Ketchup eventually peeking, which was slightly necessary. Of course, the bomb wasn't planted for him. I mean, but still, it was a life. bit unnecessary. Then you had Rylex, you had the forklift position. Understandable, but why wasn't Ketchup holding his angle? Why was he flashed? Why was he peeking in the first place? And the same goes for Luis Revo. He had to go. But eventually, he had no grounds to actually go for it as there was no real defuse sound. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that how they use that boost spot, by the way, on that bomb site. You don't see that one used very often. No, it's a very risky one, and I think Salty Skins used it for the first time and actually boosted halfway through the round, which is risky. And now it's also risky for Malik to push out mid as Ketchup has gotten the frag, makes it into a 5 on 4. And what will they bring off this one? It is Salty Skins now up against it, but still get a refrag. Hurts actually with two, but losing Bayas. It is a 3 on 3 once again. Emcon is confused on what to do, but they seem to be liking the A side. Yep, it is scattered, but Rylax can grab the ball. Oh, Kios trying to kill Rylax there, but missing his shot. He throws that molly out to get him out of his position. Oh, and it will work. It's Chaos now throwing a flash at the wrong time. And that's how Emcon can get back. Hertz is now committing towards the middle area. Scales is trying to fight once again. He is a little too late, though, to frag anyone. And as Ketchup is pushing towards the A side, can he get the frag on Berkey? If he jumps again, he might be on time, but Berkey will never jump again. As he knows, his position is now known. They are pushing in his Berkey with one frag onto Rylax. Makes the advance for Salty Skins. And can he make the round? Low HP, low bullets, but still a death for him. They say two on two right now. The bomb is being planted. The time is also slowly running out. But Luz Revo, what is that angle you're holding? Also being flanked by uh, Chaos right now. And only Luz Revo left. It is 92. Salty Skins with a clean retake. But a very chaotic round. You see, what, what I find interesting here, as you can see, they do get the bomb down way more than Salty Skins did in the previous map, but that doesn't mean that it's all good, because still, if they can get that defuse in and just get the frags to clear the bomb site, it's still a win for them. Yeah, I don't really understand why you've been so open at uh, the quad position, because you knew yeah. Chaos was already pushing in the flank. He could have already yeah. had the f uh, kill, but unfortunately he did not for Salty Skins. They still made it work, and now we see Emcon Esports again buying up a lot of utility some nice guns, but not the world of things. 
Yeah, I have to say, it does look like they just aren't really holding positions well, and it's just a shame. Using that boost spot again, by the way, interesting but choice. But without a smoke, and that's really, really risky, but that's the real guts they have right now. It is Nothing. an AWP onto Chaos, a lot of utility. Everyone has a kit, everyone has full armor, because why wouldn't you right now? Not with the money that those guys are making, they do not have to worry one bit about going full out. Oh, Berkey, what are you doing? Peeking with a smoke in his hand. The Bales is not being spotted. Teddy and Rylex will both fall, and it's even another one. Is Ber Bales with four. Excel is the only man left, gets the frag back. But still in it, 1v3, tries to tap, but he will miss. And now he will die. Hurts with the last 110 to 2 is now your score. And Emcon is throwing it away. Bayaz, unbelievable, really. 4K, very well done. He's, he's really making those plays today, I have to say. Even if they may not have taken the first map, he still did some amazing things there. Yeah, he slowed down a little bit halfway through this map, but now he's back at it again. 14 to 8 is his score line. Whilst the whole of Amcon is still needing to get to that 10th kill to yep. seem like a cool boy. It's, it's only, they've only got two rounds. It's, it's a bit sad to see, you know, compared to what we saw earlier. I have higher expectations, Solazma, and they're not reaching Ooh, them. Ooh, but Gales now with the first kill onto Ketchup has that AWP. Peaks over the one-way smoke. And it is one way to get the advantage. 10 to 2 is already the scoreline. Teddy is moving over to CZ. Will spray, will hit, but not kill. And that's the story of Emcon's life so far. It's still a 5 on 4. Salty Skins is in the lead. They're only strangling it further. Yep, he did actually... Had a, he had a bit of an exchange there with Hertz, Teddy. Only, you know, dealing so much damage, but just not enough and not getting the frag. Rylex now moving out, but being baited by the Molly Bales again with two. And he even gets a third. It's Malik with the last one. It's 11 to 2 for Salty Skins. And they're running away, like Emcon did on the previous map, but so far, Emcon has not really shown much prowess on the cash. No, not really. It's every time that you just see them, well, just messing with their economy, it's all over the place, and it doesn't seem to be very high at any, any, at any rate, really. And, well, you can see it in the, in the amount of rounds. 11 for Salty Skins, 2 for Emcon. It's 2 until match point, halftime, I'm sorry. So the question is, is Emcon going to go out a few on the T site before switching, or are they just going to lose the last two as well? Well, we'll see. The unpass has been called. We're getting back into the action. A Galil onto Luis Revo. Not very optimal for a hard fragger like he is. No. But let's see if it will still work for him. We've seen Malik shine with it on train. But this is cash. A whole different story. It's 11 to 2 for Salty Skins. And they're just dominant all the way to the bank. All the way, definitely. I mean, a Galil is still a gun and it can work out, but it just makes things more difficult. Well, Chaos now double nated, brought to 16 HP. And that means that he'll be slightly scared as we now see Luz Revo trying to smoke bang. But unfortunately for him, it does not work out so far. Yeah, that, that double nade there on Kiel's might end up being a problem for him later in the round. And it could be the edge that MCOM needs, especially as we've got Berkey going down there, exchanging with Teddy, it seems. Oh. But the Molly is pushing Teddy out of his position. This makes things more difficult. Goes to the wall bank there and puts some shots down. We are seeing on Saucy Skins, both Kiel's and Berkey have very low HP. Question is, is MCOM going to take advantage of that? They cannot know, of course, but still. They seem to be eager to take mid control once again. It is very volatile to pretty much every map around. And now they almost have connected control. It's Rylex putting down a little bit of damage onto Malik, but it's not enough to kill him. Far from it to say the least, as it is now a kill from Ketchup onto Berkey. And how in the world did that happen? A headshot wall bang. I think it was from mid, but I'm not too sure. Now they go to B. There's two players standing here. Chaos unscopes at the wrong moment again. A wall bang for Ketchup. But damage dealt by Hertz is not enough though as he dies to Rylax and it's a 2 on 5. Salty Skins is now deciding on saving or going in. They have so much money, why would you save? But it seems like they're still taking it slow. Yep, looks like the patient plays might end up being it, but amazing damage dealt by Hertz there, by the way. Like, unbelievable how he really put a dint in there and Malik does get Xe loss. Now it looks like if he, he grabs the AK, Teddy also goes down by Bears there. A very long shot. The question is, are they going to play it out? And look, if Malik gets the double kill there. Only one person left, and it's Rylax. 
and he's running towards the bomb like a madman. Rylex is not expecting to re-pick. And Malik with four frags, but not enough. The bomb explodes. It's 11 to 3. They took too much time. Yep, and now we'll go to the last round of the first half. And let's see if MCON can wrap another one. It's vital for their survivability. But will they make it? Well, the issue is, of course, there. Our Salty Skins, they have the money to spare. And MCON there has a bit less. They do have good guns, though. But you can see some utility has to be given up. And it may that may be that which ends up costing them this last round on the T side. Yeah, Chaos has been sold with that AWP, but every now and then he's out of position, goes a bit too greedy. And that will haunt him every time and time again. They go towards the B side, the side of Emkel Esports. Two guys are pressuring and they get Malik. It is Hurt still around the corner with the M4, gets a flash in, throws a smoke, but already Bale's dying, and that is the key fragger for all these skins. And so everyone is falling slowly but surely. It's a 2 or 5. And only Berkey and Chaos alive. And the jump does not really help. As your accuracy is gone and so is your life. It's Rylax with his second of the round. And only Chaos in a 1v5. Trying, fighting, but maybe even dying. Very nice quick scope there by Chaos, but it does not end up working out. I was hoping for him to maybe go for an ace there, but no. Xelos finishes it off and grabs Xel uh, Teddy. No. Chaos. So, chaos. Jesus. You're getting there someday. Where am I? Where well, I'll get there Rylex eventually. actually the first one on his team to get to 10 frags. But then after 15 rounds, does not bode well for the second half. But you can still try. See, the side, slightly easier if you know yeah. how to play it right. And the side of MCON surely does. We're going into the second pistol. We see five times armor for MCON Esports. And can they get those one taps? Or will they fall painfully? I mean, the question is here. Is MCOM going to be able to once again just deny even the bomb plant from the start every time? But this is not train. This is a different map that they are playing. And it does look like Saucy oh. Skin's a very aggressive B push there. Malik making some noise today, but not really doing anything more. Teddy holds the position well. Oh. Double kill, very quick movement. Hurts denies it though. Teddy manages to get the double kill there. Very nice to the go out with. The second shot was magical, but it's Xelos and Rylex already stepping up once again. Bales did not even plant the bomb as he now falls. As 11 to 5, Emcon Esports, despite having a retake position on towards the B side, had those two amazing frags from Teddy and made it work very easily. 11 to 5, Salty Skins is now on an eco, but next round they can buy due to the new, new loss system. bonus rebalance. Still, I have to say, this, this bodes well for Emcon. How they really turn it around now and how they even deny the bomb plan. If they keep this up, things might look very good for them. But I can't see into the future, so no. time will tell. Sad. Sad. Well, let's see. Ketchup throws the smoke, but the players, or was it actually a nade, I believe? Uh, it I wasn't. Be it was Teddy actually facing with an MP9, doing a lot of damage onto Bayas. Now hunting him down, gets the frag. And the bonus money wants to get a second against Ding, gets the kill onto Herzl. It will fall to the Glock of Malek, and that means it's still a 4 on 3. It's a bit risky to do so. And, well, let's see what Salty Skins can do. Rylax playing pretty aggressively, I have to say. Pushing down mid, not holding any bombsite. And he has spotted Malik there. However, it's a 2v2. He's right around the corner at Berkey, and he does get Berkey, actually. This leaves only Malik. Rylax gets the opportunity to reload. And Malik thinks, well, I'm just going to run away, throw the flash. And he holds in the corner now. Rylax not looking behind him. Malik has spotted him jump out. However, Ketchup is right around the corner and just grabs Malik with the headshot. Only kills left. Fights it out with Xelos. And Xelos says, nope, my M4 takes over your Glock. But look at it. They didn't have a bomb plan, so these skins. Only his T-side so far. But they can already buy with AKs and utility. And a lot of people are actually worried about this one. Because if you lose a lot of players in the second round, for the CT side. You can't really buy, you know, you no. must. And you probably lose two more rounds. You are in a very difficult position, but who knows. Now they are relatively equally matched, the guns. So we'll see if this provides some different plays. Salty Skins has to pull off that bomb plant for the first time at least. And well, it is now five time AKs for Salty Skins. Some decent utility, but not the world. And that is what you eventually need. And we see Salty Skins trying to grind it out. Excels with the first frag as he goes aggressive, walks through the molly, but his mate, Ketchup, 
has main control and will get a bit more and that means Salty Skins is now up against it and will have to fight strong Rylex with a lot of damage but no kills, two players are low and Teddy is just going to the gallery but he can't shoot him down, it is still a slight advantage for Amcon Esports if you look at the HP but Lewis Ravo taking a frag with the scout and now it's a 4 on 3 situation, Salty Skins is doing some work but it's not enough as you see, Excel is pushing through. A will get one, will not get two. But it's still catch up on the side. 12 HP holding it down, and even now an AK. Yep, the fact that they are both heavily damaged there, 24 on Kios and 44 on Malik, can make a big difference. It really lessens the amount of shots MCOD needs to get them down and out of the game. Now, Teddy has the org, and Ketchup has stolen the AK, actually, has dropped the scout. Probably the better decision, to be fair. And now the question is, are they going to secure the bomb site and get the bomb plan down? Well, you see mid control now from Chaos, who's moving up slowly, but with 20 seconds left, they have to move, and the bomb has been dropped. He's in a 1v2, he can't really make this work if Emcon just plays it slow. And they're waiting, biding their time. Ketchup says, hello, goodbye, and this is the round for us. Because Chaos now has to plan, will fade the knife! The knife. No! Oh, he messes it up, unbelievable! Ketchup always going for the styleful plays, but it does not work in the end. A nice try, but still around for MCON Esports. It's 11 to 7, as we now see MCON crawling their way back into it. And the frags are coming in way faster than they did on the CT side. Yep, it seems like the CT side really suits MCON very well. I have to say, if we would have gotten that knife kill there... My I would Lord. have been happy. Yeah. Highlight reel it would coming have been, in. Yeah, that would have definitely been one for the highlight reel. But that's something Ketchup always does, and that's something which really grinds the gears of a lot of players playing against him. And actually, the Molotov of Emcon Esports towards his boost position is not really covering, and that might spell trouble for the later stages of this match, as the Salty Skins might have guns again. Chaos, though, had that AK, has taken a lot of damage, and should probably throw it over towards Beos. Yep, that damage to Chaos there is going to mean something later on. Rylax has done it very well, and look at that. Bea's actually getting grabbed by him as well. Chaos does take Rylax in return, but like you said, 14 HP left. It's going to be difficult for him later in this round. And now we see a 4 on 4 situation. Emcon Esports turtling it out, and it seems to be an A split coming in. Chaos low, but the rest of the guys are moving towards Xelos. And he does not have a real support apart from Ketchup, who can be smoked off. But they have no utility on the side of Salty Skins. And that is odd, painful, and maybe even lethal. <laughs> yes, we will have to see now. We've got Ketchup holding from Car grabs so that's there. Xelos oh. was holding the bomb site, but did not manage and gets killed by Malik. Chaos there. actually still from mid takes on Luis Ray, who was too eager to rotate, and now Teddy is scared. It is Chaos going towards a main. The bomb has not been planted for him, I believe. But he can still make some noise from that position. One flashbang comes in. There is now a two on three situation. Emcon Esports is trying to fight their way back in. They have one kit. Ketchup is a glass can and AWP, by the way. Gets a frag on the Berkey. And only two more players to find. It is Teddy actually with the kit. So he has to commit on the defuse. And so both players will die. It is now another round for Salty Skins. They're fighting and they're winning. Yep, if that had only been one person left there on Salty Skins, they may have grabbed that round, but they did not. I have to say, Salty Skins, only four rounds left to get this map. Do you think they're going to pull it off? I believe. You believe? I believe. And the Salty Skins, I want to see Dust too. It's yeah. a great map to see, and we'll see amazing kills, amazing plays. Like we almost saw from Ketchup just a few rounds back when we tried to knife. It was just a little bit too far away. Yeah. You see Emcon now on the eco, and they will lose a player straight away, make that two, as they're going aggressively, but one by one, and that means you stand a little to no chance at all. Nope, it's a 3v5 now, and they're holding their positions, especially on eco. It's just insanely difficult to pull this off. Utility's going down, Xeelos throwing some shots out. He does tag some damage, but Bayers in the meantime also grabs Ketchup there, 2v5. It's only two players left. It's difficult. It's un incredibly difficult for MCON. And they know where they are, so it's only a matter of time as Kels is now being pushed and killed by Beas. Relax has the Deagle. will try to style upon his enemies. But will it work? The bomb still has to move towards one of the two sides, both of which have been cleared by Salty Skins. Defense is just the frag onto Rylax, which makes it a triple for Beas once again. And his score is just out of his world already.
Part of me was holding out for a, a Deagle Ace from Rylax there, because we've seen him do some keep great things dreaming, with Deagle. Keep on dreaming. But no, I'll be realistic, of course. That wasn't going to happen. But, no. you know, part of me just wanted to see it. Well, we do see 21 frags already for Beas, and, well, with the bank they're building right now, Salty Skins is pretty comfortable. As they're now 13 to 7 up, it is another eco from Emcon Esports. They're running through B. And will they get the kill to Hertz or will he get away? It is now Beas also facing. Not taking damage, but dealing, however, is a whole different story. Yep, a lot of damage being dealt out there. Aggressive plays by Emcon actually, pushing out there towards, well, the T side actually of the map. But it didn't work out too well. Like you said yourself, damage has been dealt. And Beas actually gets Rylax with the Molly there. And that's that lowered HP working out. Berkey grabs Ketchup in the meantime. 3v5. What's MCON going to do? And that's another man lost. Ooh, Double Berkey. kill from Berkey. Going ham on the A side. As you see Teddy in a 1v5 has the CC. Will try to get one frag, but will almost choke it. It's Bayos dying to him, but hurts immediately with the refrag. Makes it 14-7. to 7. Salty Skins is making it work so far. They still need to get two more rounds. MCON Esports can now buy up. We see the Orc. Immediately for Teddy and the AWP for Ketchup. Yep. Finally for a change, MCON has some decent weapon weapons in their hands. The Org, like you say, double Org, as a matter of fact, is the scoped play going to make a difference? They are, of course, up against another AWP and four AKs, so it's not like they have to fight off an eco this time like Salty Skins has been doing. Yeah, well, we see the AWP on Chaos actually going... I think still on the truck, boosting towards the white box to see if he can get a frag, but so far nobody of Emcon is trying to harass it. But it's actually Ketchup going aggressive, pass that uh, Molotov and gets a frag onto Hertz. Make it a 5 on 4, and Berkey also tagged as well. Yep, heavy damage on Berkey, and Bayes goes down to, down to a 3 v 5. Ke Keo Keos, my apologies, actually grabs Teddy there with the nade, surprisingly enough. Equalizing the playing field a little bit more. Salty Skins is two rounds away from grabbing the map. Are they going to pull it off? Well, it is now Xelf with a double spray on only Chaos left with his AWP in 1v4. 50 seconds though makes it doable, but as the players of Hamcon are very strong and eager to kill him, I think he has little to no chance. He's trying, waiting for a flashbang, waiting for a push from Hamcon, but they're just biding their time, waiting till the clock ticks down as they already have. Ketchup pushed up towards B. Patience is a virtue, and there goes Kios. He tried to push through the smoke, but it did not work out for him. Of course, as the clock is ticking down, you're going to have to get that bomb plant in eventually, and if you don't manage, the CTs know, and they take advantage of that. Sad times for Salty Skins, but they still had some reserves to buy this round. We see the AWP again from Chaos. The rest of the team has full utility AKs. But there's actually a double up now for Emcon Esports who is Revo also picking one up. And that means showtime. Showtime indeed. Let's oh, see if whoa. the double orb tactic works out. Actually catch up uh, being tied up. I don't know exactly if it were nades or if it were a wallbang. But so far he will not be too happy about that one as now Rylax is hugging with his buddy. But it's not really advisable in war. Yeah, Hurts having... Actually, sorry, Hurts firing out there. Now that damage dealt to catch up may spell mayhem for him later on. We'll have to see. For now, it seems like both teams are holding off a little bit, play, playing it patient as Malik stares down mains here and waits. But the bomb is over towards the B bomb site. So I think that's where the play is going to happen. And yeah, the problem for Ketchup is that he is now that low that he has to play passive. That's why he picks the CT angles and even also car at A. Now we'll go towards Hatchel though. And the chances of a Molotov hitting you here are relatively high. That means he might die, but Steady now being flashed in. Gets one fragment. Gets straighted out by Berkey. It is still a 4 on 4. It is still Salty Skins. That can do, but the same goes for Emcon. The nades are now flying in. Ketchup is still surviving. And where is the bomb going to? It seems to be going back towards A, but it's actually Rylax pushed up, and what can he do? He is getting in the flank, he's moving in, Malak is also moving up, but it's actually Malak with a frag onto Ketchup with the Molly dying to the headshot. And now the A side is vulnerable, they can just move through. Nobody on middle, and it is actually Amcom mispositioning themselves out of this round, possibly as it's Rylax spraying, getting the kill with a lot of hassle. 
And makes it back into a two on two. One player, Bayos at car. Now not getting fragged by Celis. Has the right action to 1v2. Has the kit. Has not got a great position as the bomb has been planted for Highway. And even a bit for Forklift. He now spots Bayos. Cannot get a kill. It's now 15 to 8. Map point for Salty Skins. And can they make it 1 1? Yep, Bayos just got it easily there. He had to trade off, but it was a. Oh well, they had to trade fire, but it did not work out there. Like you say, map point. What do you think? Are MCON going to pull out a few more rounds, or is this going to be the deciding one? They know what's up. They know what to do. And let's see if they can do it. They have no real powerful <laughs> rifles, it, though. It's an, interesting just look at it. it's an interesting loadout, to say the least. Little utility, which is already being thrown into a main to see if they can get the play. It's Malek spotted out by Ketchup or not. He's actually on the box and he will die without any real problems. And that makes it into a 5 on 4. Emcon Eastwells again on a miserable buy. Yep. Still making it work every now and then. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily mean the end of the world if you have a bit of a more interesting buy, to put it ever so nicely. But it's going Ooh. for that wall bang through Squeaky, by the way, but he is very low himself. He is also knocking on Death's door with 30 HP left. It's actually Rylex playing that to perfection, but also playing it very risky, as we're used to from him. Now wants to rotate to help out his mates, but the bomb might actually go towards A through Highway. Three players are standing by, and one at Squeaky. Xelos, are you scared? You should be, because the players are moving in. Flashbang goes over, Xelos with one frag, and the other one goes for catch-up. And his KO still moving through, gets the frag onto him, but Rylex again shining. And with two scouts, his Emcon now up against it. And they have USBs that can actually one-shot Chaos, but will they? No, I don't think they will. They do not know. And it's interesting. Maybe we'll see an interesting quick scope, and there we go. We even see a headshot from Teddy. MCON is actually grabbing this round. Yeah, and now it is 15 tonight. Still up against a lot of map points. But they can shine through. It's actually the management of MCON walking away. They know we got this in the back. No we're worries. preparing the champagne. Not a care in the world. They'll do this, absolutely. Still though, who knows, maybe Emcon will push it to overtime, but winning six rounds in a row is a Easy peasy, mm. as Rylex throws an aid, but does also throw his life away. And that's sad to see. Very we'll sad. See it happen more in the general times that we're living in right now. Oh, most certainly. Yes, but Kios was tagged there, so at least he did manage to do something useful. It's a 4v5. Salty Skins needs one more round. Will they get it? It is the advantage now for Salty Skins. They need one more round to make it 1-1 and bring it to dust 2. The decider match for this best of three grand final. But look at Luis Revo has a nice position and tries to make it work. Holding the angle by Berkey. Do you have a hunch? It seems to be and he will get the kill. It is 5-3 and Emcon is again struggling. Don't really have anyone at the B side, so Teddy has to run in like a madman, but already loses another one and his own life. It's only Xelos left in the 1v5. He will have to try to clutch it. His Bayos close. He will not get the frag straight away, but eventually will make it work. And still a 1v4 to clutch. Has the defuse kit, but is it enough? Has to move fast. Spots two players already. Does a little bit of damage, when, but when he peeks into three, it is not enough. It is one to one. It is eventually the map win.